How to vote early by mail. Apply online. There are two ways to vote early in Minnesota. You can have a ballot mailed to you. Fill it out and send it back so that it arrives at your election office by election day for it to be counted. Or you can go to your local elections office and vote there in person. In-person voting is available beginning six weeks before election day. You can apply for an absentee ballot even if you are not already registered to vote. This video focuses on receiving a ballot in the mail and applying for it online. There are three requirements for applying online to have a ballot mailed to you. One, you are eligible to vote. Two, you have to have an email address. And three, you have to provide an ID number. Minnesota issued driver's license, Minnesota ID card, or the last four digits of your social security number. If you don't have an email or one of those ID numbers, you can still apply to have a ballot mailed to you, but you'll have to use the paper form. If you are in the military or are overseas, there is a different process to vote and you need to use a different form. If you already applied for an absentee ballot, do not fill out the form again. If you haven't received it yet, you can check on its status online. Watch another video to find out how. So let's get started. To apply for your absentee ballot online, go to the Minnesota Votes website. Look for how to apply for an absentee ballot online. It should be easy to find. First, it asks for the county in which you live, for example, Hennepin or Rice. Choose your county from the drop-down list. Next, it asks for the city, state, and zip code where you live. Choose this from the drop-down menu as well. Then, choose the election or elections from the drop-down list that you want the ballot mailed to you for. For example, the primary in August, or just the general election in November, or both. Then, click the green Continue button at the bottom. On the second page, first type your first, middle, and last name. If your name has a suffix, like Junior, use the drop-down menu to add it. When you type your name, you can include letters, spaces, hyphens, or apostrophes. Do not type any other characters, like numbers or periods. Next, it asks for your date of birth. Choose the month, day, and year from the drop-down menus. Then it is asking for certain ID numbers. Your ID numbers will be kept confidential. There are spaces for both your driver's license number and for the last four digits of your social security number. Provide both numbers to ensure the fastest processing and help ensure that there are no problems with your ballot. Next, it asks for your home address. Here you will type in your house number. If you have an unusual address like 325 and a half, use the suffix field to type the half. If your street is not on the list in the drop-down menu, look to see if it is listed under a different name such as Highway 7 instead of Broadway. If it's still not there, be sure you selected the right county. The one you chose is listed under the heading Minnesota address where you live. If you selected the wrong county, go back to the first page and start again. Next, choose whether you want the ballot mailed to your home address or another address. You might want it mailed to another address if you live in a place where mail cannot be delivered to you at your home address or if you'll be out of town when the ballots are sent out. Next, type in your email address. This is required to apply for an early absentee ballot online. You can add your phone number too, but it is not required. Finally, there is the oath that you need to sign. It says, I certify that I will be at least 18 years old on election day, 
am a citizen of the United States, will have resided in Minnesota for 20 days immediately preceding Election Day, maintain residence at the address given on the registration form, am not under court-ordered guardianship in which the court order revokes my right to vote, have not been found by a court to be legally incompetent to vote, have the right to vote because if I have been convicted of a felony, my felony sentence has expired, been completed, or I have been discharged from my sentence, and have read and understand this statement that giving false information is a felony punishable by not more than five years imprisonment or a fine of not more than $10,000 or both. Then there is the red text with a checkbox in front of it. It says that when you type your name below, it counts as your legal signature. By typing your name, you promise that you understand the oath and that all of the information is true. If you lie, it is a serious crime called perjury. If you agree, check the red checkbox. You also need to type your name in the signature line. Now, click the green Submit button. Then you will get a confirmation screen. It tells you that they have received your application for an absentee ballot. You will receive an email after they have reviewed your application. And if you only supplied one ID number on your application, remember which one you provided. Over the next few days, look for an email about your absentee ballot. A couple of days after you have applied for your ballot, you can check on its status online at mnvotes.org. You will be able to see that your application is accepted and when your ballot is mailed to you. Watch another video to learn how. For more information, go to www.mnvotes.org.